All right, excellent. So uh, for those of you I haven't met yet, my name is Evelyn Watts. I am a director of product marketing here with RVZ, and I am super pleased to introduce you to Joel Walters. Joel is our director of growth. Um, if you haven't met Joel, you're in for a treat. He is our resident uh, RV enthusiast, uh, character extraordinaire. <laughs> and he's also an incredibly passionate RV owner as well, like all of you. Uh, and he's actually been doing this for quite a while. So he is one of our very first owners on RVZ. He's been renting out his, uh, his RVs for the last three years. So not only can Joel speak from his own personal experience, but uh, as one of our founding owners, uh, he's been here as so he's employee number two. So he's had a chance to speak with uh, honestly, thousands of other owners like yourself, answering questions, sharing advice, and helping build up the community that we have um, across Canada and the U.S. And so I'm sure some of you have met Joel in a previous times when we could actually meet in person, but I'm glad you're back with us today. So with that, Joel, I know that there is one of your many RVs that uh, goes with you absolutely everywhere I possibly can. And I thought that would be a great way to share how... <laughs> how focused and passionate you are on RVs. So I'm gonna stop sharing my screen now and I'm gonna hand things over to you. Um, and of course, everyone, if you have questions as we go along, don't, uh, don't hesitate to put them in the question panel. I will be sure to answer as many as we can. There's a lot of information that Joel's gonna share. So don't feel you have to write everything down. You'll get a copy or a, a link to the recording after today's session. Perfect, thank you so much, Evelyn. How's it going, everybody? Thank you so much for joining. Uh, the RV uh, that Evelyn was to, I am, so I am the director of growth at RVZ here. Uh, I was employee number number two uh, here from the beginning. I have been renting out motorhomes on the platform for uh, the last three years. And as Evelyn was referring to, I actually have one of the uh, RVs that I rent out, my little Westphalia camper van tattoo to my arm, so it goes uh, everywhere with me. So that there's a story behind it. We won't get into it today, but uh, I am an owner and um, I've been using the platform. I'm, I'm speaking from an owner's perspective. Uh, this company, you know, needless to say, I'm passionate about RVing. Uh, this company was built by RV owners. Uh, all the owners are uh, of, of RVZ own units. Uh, I happen to be a motorhome guy. Um, I own class B motorhomes, class C motorhomes, camper vans. Um, but all the founders own RVs and we have kind of a little motto at RVZ. Uh, FOBO is the motto. So for owners by owners. Uh, we are really a community of owner focused uh, people. We really want you guys to succeed. We understand, uh, you know, what you guys need because we use a platform ourselves. So, uh, you know, we just, we're here to sort of offer some information today to help you really get the most out of uh, 2021. 2020 has been crazy, obviously, uh, but we think it actually helped the RV industry as a whole. P people have been sort of locked away. Uh, they've been looking for alternative modes of travel, of vacation. And I think people really started to wake up to the fact that RVing is an incredible way to, you know, self-isolate, get outside, spend time with family, all that good stuff. So I think in 2021, it's just going to be an incredible year for the RV industry. We already saw that sort of at the, at the tail end of, of last summer. So uh, all that said, we'll, we're going to talk about five tips today that's going to help you guys really make the most of your RVZ experience here on the platform. So to jump right into it, um, I'll start by, by going into tip number one. Let's talk, uh, tip number one, let's talk communication. So basically, communication is is huge it's the you know it's the best thing that you can do as an owner to respond to renters right so quickly messages that come in booking requests that come in uh it sounds simple but it's actually you know it's easier said than done responding in a, you know promptly um to renters who who might request to book your rv or just send you an inquiry uh asking questions about your rv the faster you guys respond to renters um the more bookings you'll get it's pretty simple and uh, you'll also be boosted up higher in our search results um, because with that, that's sort of taken into consideration in the algorithm. The quicker you respond to renters, uh, that'll boost your ranking in the search results. So the point that I want to make with this is to really take action on the site 
promptly. Um, you know, and all of you guys tuning in here today are obviously owners who are dedicated. You want to learn more. So you're probably already on the ball. Um, but the point is to take action, right? Either accept or decline bookings. You know, it's your business. We don't care. I mean, we obviously want you to accept as many bookings as you can, but it's really up to you. If you want to accept a booking, great. If not, decline it. The real, uh, the real message though in this communication is to actually take action. And even if you're declining a booking, you know, write a quick message to the renter. Uh, thanks for your inquiry. Um, you know, it's, it's unfortunately, it's not going to work out this time. Um, but, but, uh, check back at a, at a different date. So really taking action, um, because renters often, you know, as you guys know, they'll put in multiple booking requests, right? They'll put in five or six booking requests for RVs in the area. And so owners that actually respond first and open those lines of communication are much more likely to uh, I'm speaking from experience myself. I use the app for this. Um, the app is great because you get push notifications. So literally, as soon as someone sends me a message or an inquiry or a booking request, I can jump on my phone. I can send them back. Even just you know, even if you're busy and you can't go over all their questions, you can still say to them, "Hey, uh, got your message. Thanks so much. Um, I'll I'll get back to you shortly." Um, and just open that line of communication so there's no so they know there's someone on the other end uh, receiving their message and not leaving them in limbo, right? It's it's very important. Can't be uh, can't be uh, understated. So basically, using the app and 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 getting those push notifications and uh, and actually responding to renters is going to be great. And the other thing going above and beyond that is once you've responded. What you can do is you can actually exchange phone numbers uh, with renters. I personally like to do this because I find that, you know, texting back and forth, you know, there's so many details about renting an RV that renters might have. And there's so many nuances to the business of renting out your personal RV that I think that um, the, the best way, the most clear way to communicate is to actually just exchange your number uh, with the renter and say, hey, give me a shout. And by doing that, you're actually qualifying yourself as an owner who's serious, right, on the site, uh, you want to chat. And it's also kind of qualifying the renter at the same time, where if they're, if they are serious about booking your RV, they are going to pick up the phone and call you. Uh, and 99% of the times I've given my number to people, um, and they've called me and we've been able to hash out all the details, pre-qualify them, I can get a feel for who they are, whether or not it, it's, uh, it, it's a good fit, whether I want to take that rental or not. Um, so some of you I I understand are not going to be comfortable giving your numbers and that's totally fine too you can keep everything on the platform in terms of the communication um but i just find that it's it is easy to gain that uh that that conversation and that gauge of a exchange phone numbers. So um, all that to say, when you're on the phone with someone as well, or when you're um, going back and forth in the text communication, uh, set expectations, right, with the renter. It's very important to set the correct expectations with your renter from the get-go, right? So you want to all ask the essential questions. And I know some owners actually have templates uh, where they'll just copy and paste specific questions and they'll send those right away to the renter on the message thread. Um, but you want to know, you know, where are you going, right? How many people are going? Uh, what's the ratio? How many kids? Uh, how many adults? Do you have any pets? Um, what is your experience RVing, right? Um, are you familiar with uh, Are you familiar with the R, R, the RV lifestyle? You know, um, you know, water tank capacity, all that stuff. They may not have any idea. Some people might be newbies, which is totally fine. That's what the platform is for, right? Is people getting into trying before they're buying, or or just getting into RVing uh, in in general? So you just want to make sure though that you've covered all your bases with the you know, the essential questions, right? So. Um, the other question I like to ask is, are you staying at a campground with hookups or are you dry camping? Uh, you know, I'll, 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 I'll ask that question to know if they're going to be running my generator, you know, especially in the summer overnight. I prefer to take rentals where they're plugged in, you know, to 30 amp. Um, it just makes me feel better uh, for whatever reason. I still take camp uh, rentals where they're, they're dry camping, but, you know, seven day, would you prefer a, a seven day rental where they're plugged into a campsite the whole time or a seven day rental where they're off the grid, uh, you know, dry camping in the desert somewhere? I mean, you know, I, I'd feel better, you know, a rental where they're plugged in at a campground, but it, it it's, all, it's all good. I'm just saying that these are uh, some of the questions that you might want to know as an owner. Um, 
And then, you know, also you want to make sure that they know what they're getting when they show up, right? So what's included in the rental? Um, you know, linens, right? Are you including linens? I personally don't like doing other people's laundry, you know, uh, don't even like doing my own. So uh, I don't offer that option for, for renters, right? They can bring their own. And most renters are actually perfectly fine to bring their own linens. Okay. So uh, dishes though, cutlery, a lot of uh, people new to, to the RV lifestyle, you know, what's included, they'll ask what's included with the rental. Um, and you can just kind of go over that with them. Board games are included, you know, pots, pans, uh, coffee maker, all that good stuff. Uh, RV toilet paper is included. You know, if you include RV toilet paper, you might add that as an add-on. I always you know, at the end of the day, as an owner, you want to make this as seamless as possible for a renter, whoever the renter is, whether they have, you know, 20 years experience RVing or whether they're a complete newbie, uh, you want to make sure that, you know, you, you just are as clear as possible with all the information about your RV and, you know, RV toilet paper, it's, it's kind of a, an important thing. So you can say it comes fully stocked um, with, with RV toilet paper and all that good stuff. And you can even make an inventory checklist of your own, right? So, you know, offering seven spoons, seven knives, seven forks, and just check off everything that you have there, make it your own, laminate it, and just, uh, you know, check that off as you go. Uh, and we'll talk about the checklists a little bit later. But, um, but basically, the idea here with communication is you just want to cover every single base you can uh, before a booking is kind of uh, confirmed, you know. And you can talk these things out after a booking is confirmed as well, but I'm just saying it, it, it'll, it'll make everyone's life easier if uh, the more communication, the better. So that's uh, tip number one. You can see my little camper van uh, mug here, not for Christmas. Um, so tip number two is, uh, is kind of interesting. Uh, we just rolled this feature out, uh, instant book. Okay, so this is... You'll find this if you log into your dashboard, you'll find this under the earn more tab uh, on your listing and turning on Instabook is going to, as the name implies, is going to allow renters to instantly book your RV without you having to qualify them or having to go through that communication um, with them. So this is not for everybody, I understand, but it is going to help those people who are motivated to get their RVs booked to book it instantly. Because just like Airbnb, uh, a lot of people, a lot of renters are looking to, they know what they want. Uh, they land on our site. They see an owner who offers an instant bookable RV. They say, yep, this looks good. And they want to know for sure that they can secure it and book it for those dates. So if you're interested, um, by all means, go onto your uh, dashboard click edit listing, and then you'll see a little earn more tab there. Uh, and you can flip on the instant book feature. Um, it's, it's important though, to note that when you are, if you are going to use instant book, if you are managing, you know, another calendar, uh, or, or whatever, uh, just be careful with that. Cause you don't want to double book yourself. If you're booked on another calendar and then someone instantly books your RV through our site, you don't want to be double booked obviously. Um, uh, but you know, be just fine on our site. Uh, we, we plan on bringing tons of demand this year to everybody uh, in the US and in Canada. Uh, our marketing team is, is the best in the business and we are really ramping up. You know, it took us you know, less than three years in Canada to become the number one RV rental marketplace in all the country. And uh, we hope to do the same in the States. So, um, so that being said, Instant Book is a great new feature that we rolled out for really motivated owners who uh, want renters to, to be able to book their units instantly. And the other uh, option and the other uh, feature that we have similar to Instant Book, uh, not similar, but it's, it's along the same lines of getting your, uh, your unit rented as much as possible, is the featured RV option. Okay, So you'll see that option under the uh, Earn More tab as well on your dashboard. And the featured RV option is great because what that will do is that will bump your RV up in the search results to its own featured RV section. So the front and center people land, type in, you know, uh, Vancouver, BC, and, you know, all the featured RVs will, uh, will appear first. Um, and that's, uh, that's a little bit of an extra service fee to have your RV featured, but it's really going to uh, give your RV that much more exposure and uh, help you get that many more bookings. So Perfect. Moving right along. Hey, Joel, before you, uh, before you um, get on to the next point, 
Uh, I just want to uh, clarify a couple of things for folks. So if you've been on the platform since, you know, before Monday, um, yep. you'd have to turn Instant Book on. Uh, it was actually very, um, very select, very hard to actually qualify for it. We've actually opened it up so a lot more people can turn it on. Um, if you've just listed recently, as in this week, it may have been turned on as you were going through it and you didn't necessarily see it, but you can turn it on and off at any time um, to use it. Uh, there, it is fairly new. We have a brand new help article out. So if you go to our help, um, our help uh, center, there's yeah. what is instant booking, give a little more information. We can share that after the session as well. Um, think, but just Lewis, based- Lewis just said he just turned it on yesterday. So great job, Lewis. <laughs> Hopefully that- Just based on what you've heard, I have a quick poll. Okay. Because we, we are going to be doing more improvements as we go along. So it's a fairly new feature, but we want to make sure it's working really well um, yep. for how you want to use it. So if you just let me launch this poll, can everyone see that? And also that goes without saying that, guys, we are a community here at RVZ. And like I said, as an owner-focused company, you know, your feedback is Very. invaluable to us. So, you know, please, you know, use the, the Facebook owners group. Uh, we have, uh, you know, Malcolm manages that group. He's great. Uh, and, and we really, really take your feedback into consideration. We want to work with you guys. We want to make this the best experience and the number one go-to platform for everybody. So, okay. So the instant book, would you be interested in using instant book or give it a try? It doesn't appeal to me. Not sure. Yeah. It's a, it's fairly, fairly, uh, even across the board there. So that's good. Excellent. Perfect. Thank you. Uh, I'll give it back to you, Joel, but this is a great indicator for us where we need, want to be able to get more feedback from you and we'll probably be reaching out um, as we start making more improvements to it. Yep, exactly. Um, okay, perfect. So tip number three is kind of the nitty gritty of your RV listing. Uh, so that's, I'm just going to move this out of the way. Um, so Tip number three is optimizing all the aspects of your listing, you know, and not taking for granted, you know, when you make the listing that, you know, it's, it's, it's all good. Sure that you've really nailed down the, the details of each uh, aspect of your listing. So, you know, that starts with our calendar, obviously updating and keeping your calendar on our VZ updated. If you know that you're going to be using your RV or you're booked, uh, you know, somewhere else, Please go in and un, you know block those dates off in the calendar, um, and and then all the dates that you 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 know are available. Obviously, keep those uh, open. Uh, this is really simple. You can do this on the app. You just drag and drop over the. You, you just click the the dates that it's not available and hit update, and it'll block the the dates out right there for you. So it's all pretty simple. Our our app is really slick. I like it. Um, Hopefully you guys are enjoying it too. Really want to encourage owners to use the app um, just because it is, it is so convenient. Um, the other aspect of the listing, obviously, to talk about is photos. So uh, important to include, uh, you know, at least five photos, five clear photos. And I will apologize. We have had a little bit of an issue with the photo upload uh, these last uh, couple uh, weeks. So that's fine. Uh, but we are really working hard to revamp that entirely. It's going to be, it's going to be, uh, completely different, uh, soon and it's not going to, uh, it's not going to be a problem. So five photos, um, in landscape mode, if you can, and, uh, also include a floor plan, uh, because renters really want to see, you know, the layout of the RV, right? But the bunk beds, uh, the separation um, and the privacy and all that stuff. So including a floor plan, great idea. Um, and also having five photos, five clear photos, you know, that's just a minimum. I recommend at least, you know, 10 or 15, but five photos is going to qualify you for instant book. If you don't have five photos, you won't, you will unfortunately not qualify for instant book until you upload five photos. So it's one of the qualifying factors. Um, so pricing is the next one. Uh, you know, pricing is completely up to you guys. You guys are, uh, it's your business. So uh, set specific pricing how you see fit. Uh, you can change specific pricing for long weekends, holidays, and that's all done through the calendar. Um, and so once your pricing is, is reasonable, you know, you can look in your area, price compare, what are other RVs going for in your area? Um, make sure your cleaning fee is reasonable. You know, renters, uh, you know, we recommend 50, 60 bucks uh, for cleaning fee. And, and 
you know, renders still have to bring the RV back uh, spotless, right? The, the expectation is the RV has to come back in the same condition as it left. Um, even if you're charging a cleaning fee, it doesn't matter. You know, that's the prep fee, the time to flip it and, and meet the renters. So that, that covers all that good stuff. So um, renters, and make that clear to renters too, when you meet them on the pickup, right? Um, you know, and w- what I always like to do leave a little vacuum in there, go out, buy a little vacuum, uh, even a, one of those dirt devil handheld ones, uh, some, some Lysol wipes, you know, make it really easy for renters to clean the unit. I leave everything in there and I tell them, you know, very clearly when, when they're taken off, I say, uh, have a great trip. Uh, please bring back the unit in is spotless. It's going out on another rental, uh, the next day whether it is or isn't. I mean, I tell them that just so they have that, that pressure to bring it back clean. Um, and I've had no problems. So, so leaving cleaning supplies, uh, is, is huge. It's, it's a very small investment and a huge payoff. Um, so, you know, you can also, so with pricing, you can kind of, you can understand that renters, it's not all about pricing for renters, right? You know, they're willing maybe to pay a little bit more for an RV from an owner who's more communicative, who is, you know, on the ball, who, 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 who's sort of working with them a little bit else with a cheaper RV. It, it really does come down to communication at the end of the day. So um, I would say, Price compare in your area. Try to stay competitive. Don't be, you know, uh, I, there was someone on the site the other day who had a $500 cleaning fee. I mean, you know, just bake that into your price, your nightly price. Don't, don't, don't scare people off with, uh, with those hidden fees, right? Um, and you can always use the custom quote feature, right? If you get a booking request, you can always use the custom quote feature and send renters a quote, um, and negotiate with them price wise, you know, you want to, to book this RV, you know what your bottom line price is uh, per night. So you might be flexible, you know, a two week rental, the a, if a renter wants to take it for two weeks, and they're staying at a local campground nearby, it's a really nice rental. I'm willing to lower my price, you know, oftentimes, if it's a very, very attractive rental. So really work with your, your renters, again, comes down to communicating with them, asking them the right questions, where they're going. And, um, you know, you can send those custom quotes out and sort of negotiate and work within their budget. And, uh, and you'll, you'll notice that you'll, you'll get more bookings if you do that. So uh, next is add-ons. Okay, so add-ons are kind of cool. You can get creative with add-ons. Um, so, you know, one owner, for example, uh, one owner bought scooters, electric scooters that uh, he offers with all of his rentals. I think the scooters were like 300 bucks each and he charges, uh, you know, uh, 20, I think it was uh, $50 a day uh, for the, uh, or sorry, $50 a rental for the, for the scooter. Uh, and he has two scooters. So he's made his money back in like three rentals basically. And, um, and people love those electric scooters. So that's just one example, but you can get creative, uh, with, with add-ons, you know, um, portable barbecues, um, gazebos, um, I mean, board games, uh, you know, bike, you know, a- anything really. Um, so that's, that's the end. Some people have like a complimentary or not complimentary, but uh, convenience packages, I should say, right? Um, they, they all offer towels or soap or shampoo, port, you know, little travel shampoos. Anyway, you, you guys can figure that out. That's, that's pretty, pretty easy to do, but it's also, um, you know, it's also a moneymaker for people because they, sometimes those add-ons add up. So, um, but anyway, the description, uh, is next in terms of, uh, optimizing your listing and the aspects of your listing. So description, at least 100 characters. We, I don't think owners really use the description uh, feature as well as, as they could. Uh, the description feature really is there to help you guys describe your RB and, and show it in its best light, you know? so that owners don't, or that renters don't ask you, you know, stupid questions. They can hopefully read and, and all the information is nicely spaced and laid out there for them. Right. So a hundred characters will qualify you for instant book, uh, as well as the five photos. So, uh, I always like to add as much as possible in the description. Uh, an idea for description is adding links to certain parks or campgrounds in your area, right? Uh, because a lot of people on our website are, are still in the planning phases of their vacation. So they're still looking for a campground to go to. So if you give them an idea of where to go, 
And even if you say you're in your description, you can say offering delivery to, you know, Eagle Creek campground, and then put the link to that campground. I mean, it gives them the, uh, the, the uh, opportunity to then now explore Eagle Creek campground and, you know, have an RV potentially delivered there too. So, um, all that to say, the, the more you write in your description, I think the better. Um, and you should really ask yourself, is, does a renter have all the information they would need to book my RV if I don't talk to them? If they read everything, do they have all the information? Sometimes what I used to do personally, uh, what I still do is I, I link to an actual um, YouTube video of my RV. Okay, so you, know, you can take a video yourself one day, nice, nice sunny day go walk around, do a five, 10 minute video of your RV showing all the nooks and crannies of it, all the special features, you know, put it, put out the awning um, and then upload that to YouTube and make it a public, uh, you know, a, a public video. You know, if you have a, a like I had a, a, have a coachman freelander, 21 QB uh, motorhome, class C motorhome. You can just put that as the title and then even available on RVZ in the title. Um, and you, in the bio, you can even offer, a link to your unit on RVZ. And that goes into kind of another point about <clears throat> self-promotion or self-marketing your RV um, on Craigslist or Kijiji in Canada um, or even YouTube. So, um, but all that to say, linking in your description of your RV, a link to your video with the, or a link to your RV with a, a video of the walkthrough of it. Um, I think that is a, a really good idea. A lot of people use that uh, when I rented mine uh, last year. And they said, you know, they would show up, they'd say, yeah, I know how I, I'm, I'm familiar with it. I watched your video on YouTube. And uh, so it gives them a little more uh, uh, education and uh, preparedness. So, yeah, I think that covers everything with description. Um, so that brings us to our fourth tip, which is uh, delivery. So this applies mostly to travel trailer owners. Okay. Um, you know, Trailer owners who do offer delivery are, are getting four times the number of bookings uh, that, that, you know, that other owners aren't, right, who don't offer delivery, uh, just because not everyone has uh, a truck to pull. And if you live near, if you're in an area and you have the time where you're, you're able to travel and drop trailers off and whatnot, I mean, you're going you're gonna to make a killing because a lot of people, especially this year, I feel, uh, are going to get into RVing for the first time. They may not have the tow vehicle. Uh, necessary and they want the convenience just like ordering a pizza they want the convenience of you know showing up to their campground having the rv there setting up setting it up and you know that's it that's all so i would say that delivery is is a is a huge huge um plus for any owner uh you can charge by the mile uh, or by the kilometer in canada um for delivery and really, again, negotiate this with your, you know, figure out where your renters are going. Um, you know, make sure that they are very clear. It's going to be entrance A to the campground or south entrance because, you know, you don't want to, you don't want to go to the wrong entrance or something. Uh, you just make sure the, the communication is clear and really, you know, GPS it, um, see how many kilometers it is exactly to the location and merge accordingly. Um, and then, you know, it's, uh, yeah, I think that's, I think that's all there is to say really about delivery. It's, it's qu quite straightforward. If you communicate well with your renter, um, you're going to get more bookings if you offer delivery. So I think that covers that. And then for the final tip, we're going to talk a little bit about, um, the importance of the pre and post checklist forms. Okay. So those you'll find on the app. Uh, very convenient. You can do everything right from the app. You show up uh, the day, you know, the day the rental begins, your renters will show up to your house. Um, if you have a motor home, I like to let my renters uh, keep their car on my property. Uh, or if you're at a, a storage lot, uh, you know, hopefully the storage lot allows renters to conveniently leave their car at the storage lot while they take your RV and then just keep their keys in case you have to move it. But um, that's a really nice bonus so that, you know, they don't have to get someone to follow them, uh, and, and worry about, you know, switching cars and stuff. Um, so I found that very convenient for renters. They could just show up, drop their car, take my motor home. I've got their vehicle. Um, so the importance though, of the pre and post rental checklist forms, I can't stress this enough. 
okay? Because every owner's number one question on the site is, what happens if someone ruins or wrecks my RV, okay? It doesn't happen often, okay? Uh, we have one of the best insurance products in the industry. You guys are fully covered. Um, everything is everything is covered. Collision, comprehensive, fire, theft, you name it, vandalism, all that. It's very rare. Um, but if you've done your due diligence with the checklist forms and you've gone over and you've taken the photographs and you've, you've got the signature from the renters, there's really nothing to worry about because that is your due diligence. If there is a claim... Or, or any minor damage or whatever, at least you have, uh, you, you've, you've done your due diligence, like I said, and you have taken the responsibility of doing the checklist form. And for us, that's huge. Just having that on file. Uh, and again, we're an owner-focused company, right? So having that on, on file from a, uh, you know, from a good owner who's taken the time to, to properly do the checklist forms, your claim is going to be settled in no time. We have a dedicated in-house team um, to actually solve claims, right? We are not. We don't outsource anything. Uh, we we really pride ourselves on having a very very effective uh, in-house disputes team, and um, and insurance claims uh, team. So. All, all that to say, you know, it's very rare if you if you if you are properly going over everything with the RV, you don't have anything to worry about. But accidents do happen, and if you've done your checklist forms, there's no worries. So, um, another way to sort of mitigate a little bit of the risk that comes with renting out your RV is to take uh, walk through videos of certain aspects of the RV. Okay, for example, um, you know. I'll take a video uh, of myself, you know, this is how you flush the toilet, right? And I mean, it sounds simple, but, you know, we take it for granted as RV owners, but, you know, renters may not, right? Uh, they may not know how. So you just show them and you'll go through this with in, in the walkthrough with them. But if you have a video of you actually demonstrating how to do certain features, this is how you turn the air conditioning on, right? This is how you turn the generator on. Um, and you send those videos to the renter uh, when before they leave on their vacation, or you upload them to YouTube and then you link them to YouTube. Well, they're going to be able to reference those videos anytime during their vacation, and and that saves you, you know, a call uh, from from a renter, right? So I just like to to make, you know, after three years, four years, I've I've learned all the questions that. Right. So I make videos showing how to actually do all of those things that, that they might ask. And that really saves us both a lot of headache. So that would be uh, a suggestion from me. But um, yeah, the, the checklist forms are very important, guys. So make sure to always do those. Get the signature from the renter. It's all, there's no excuse. It's all done on the phone. Um, if, you, if your phone dies and you don't have the ability to do that for some reason, write out on a piece of paper this RV has been inspected by both renter and then they sign and yourself and then get, you know, get the signatures just to have some sort of collateral, some proof um, that the walkthroughs were, were done properly. So I think that covers it for, for now. I'm sure you guys have a lot of questions. Uh, we, we, we don't have time to go too, too in depth and we will do more of these webinars. Uh, these are fun. Uh, love to hear from you. And, um, but for now, I think those five tips, uh, and like Evelyn said, we will be sending out a PDF document with uh, some summary of these tips uh, for your reference. Um, but, you know, we love you guys. And uh, thanks for being a part of the community. And uh, we're excited. We're really excited for this year. So I'll throw it back to Evelyn and uh, cheers. There were a ton of questions uh, for those of you who uh, want to take a look at the ones we were already able to answer, the Q&A panel, um, those ones have been published, but there's lots more. So one thing I would ask if you can, because this is our first one of the year and we would love to have more of these and make them super valuable for you, because again, time is valuable. Um, but one thing we want to make sure we're doing is keeping the conversation going. There are a ton of owners in here with like great experience. They've been through probably the some of the issues that you're dealing with great place to get advice because this is really owners helping owners. So um, if you aren't already part of the Facebook community, please join. We're going to be announcing our winner of our uh, barbecue, part of the barbecue draw there tomorrow, but it's not about contests, right? It's about really helping each other out. Um, 
we weren't able to get to all the questions uh, and I know we're already over time, but what we're, we are gonna do is we'll, we'll bring all those together and answer all the most common ones to share those out um, and any others that we need to get um, uh, direct, we'll contact the owners directly. Um, one thing that uh, I will ask, we are gonna close the webinar shortly. There will be a link uh, to a video. We're gonna share a link out to that. It takes a little while to, to pull together. So probably in the next day or two, so you can rewatch any part of this that you'd like. There's also gonna be a, a very, very short survey, I promise. So as soon as we shut down, there's gonna be three easy questions. Was this valuable for you? Are there other topics that you would find interesting for us to, to work on building content for? Uh, and anything else you wanna give us feedback on, right? So feedback is a gift, love it, hate it, want more, just anything we can do to, to really help you guys be more successful is, is the goal of these. So with that, Absolutely. any final words? Yep. Well, I just want, yeah, welcome all the, all our, our, our American uh, RV owners and uh, all our, our Canadian owners. You guys are awesome. Really appreciate you tuning in today. Um, and as Evelyn said, we are, we are for you guys. We are for owners. So please uh, let us know if you have any questions. How can we help you? Uh, we're always trying to better the website, better the experience for you guys. And uh, we want to be the best RV platform uh, in the world. So thank you so much. Awesome. Great. Thank you, everyone. Have a great evening.